After the rough cut screening of the movie for the first time, everyone in attendance looks just as baffled at the clusterfuck as we were. George admits to throwing too much out there. I may have gone too far in a few places. Um, yeah? The editor then attempts to explain pacing and why four scenes with totally different emotional tones don't work well together. In a space of about 90 seconds, you know, you go from lamenting the death of, you know, a hero to escape, to slightly comedic with Jar Jar, you know, to mm -hmm. Anakin returning with his... But he kind of realizes he's wasting his time, so he stops. Rick McCollum is frozen in utter shock at how horrible the movie was. Internally, he regrets not challenging Lucas on some of the things he was worried about. Lucas then realizes that he can't remove major segments of the movie and editing because they're intertwined. I mean, I've thought about this quite a bit, and the tricky part is you almost can't take any of those pieces out of there now. Because no, each one kind of yeah, takes, takes you, you to the next place, the next and thing. you can't, you can't well, jump. No, you I don't love it. Hey, it's too late now. Later on, after everybody started drinking, Lucas attempts to explain his newly minted bowel movement as bold and extreme, stylistic. It's stylistically designed to be that way, and you can't undo that, but we can diminish the effects of it. No one looks like they know what's going on, and they all look like they're about to start pointing fingers. But that's just my interpretation of this footage. I wasn't there.